Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and today we are counting down the top 10 times that magic has appeared in pop culture. So you might not realize it, but over the years, magic has actually shown up in quite a few different movies and TV shows and the like. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we jump into it, a quick reminder that our video today is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And if you need some magical cards, you can get them over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish and even get a free goldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes and they will hook you up. Anyway, let's count down the top 10 times that magic has appeared in pop culture. Coming in at number 10 on our list, we have the ultimate 90s sitcom, the show about nothing Seinfeld, where during the two part series finale, we see Jerry walk into his apartment to check his answering machine and hiding among the clutter on his desk is a revised gift box. While the revised gift box wasn't that expensive back in 1998 when the episode aired, today it sells for over $4,500, which sounds like a lot of money until you consider that Jerry made more than $400 million from the syndication of Seinfeld, which means he could fill his entire apartment with revised gift boxes and still have money left over for some breakfast at Monk's Cafe. So I got a question for you. What is Spider-Man's favorite magic card? Well, I think the answer is pretty clearly Web from Alpha. Oh, brother. But did you realize apparently Peter Parker is a magic player? So apparently the story is that when they were making Spider-Man back in 2002, the producers wanted a way to show how much of a nerd Peter Parker was. So they reached out to Wizards and asked for some magic swag to use on the set. And Wizards sent them a bunch of stuff, but it was the super spicy invasion poster that actually made it into the film. Okay. Coming in at number eight on our list, we have the most recent addition to the list, Zombieland Double Tap, releasing back in 2019, where we learn that when you're fleeing a bunch of zombies and living in the literal zombie apocalypse and hanging out in a cheesy elvish themed hotel, the right thing to do is sit down for a game of magic. Three, please. While it was pretty hard to make out exactly what everyone was playing, we did learn that the right way to play magic during a zombie apocalypse is unsleeved, and the Emma Stone seems to be a Boros player. Next on our list, we have the teen drama, The O.C., where near the end of the first season, Ryan and Seth have a conversation about their past relationships, and we learn that while Ryan was losing his virginity, Seth was playing a little bit of magic. So when you lost your virginity, I was, I was playing Magic the Gathering. You still play magic. Yeah, but not as much. But really, you gotta wonder, who was the real winner here? Commander Knight versus Date Knight? I mean, until Date Knight lets you cast a Maldrifter with a Panharmonicon on the battlefield, I'm probably choosing magic. This is where all the magic happens? Well, if by magic you're referring to the card game, then sadly, Yes. Next up, we have the NBC spy comedy Chuck, where during this season four episode where Chuck fakes his own death by taking a paralyzing drug, he's issued maybe the nerdiest challenge ever from Jeff and Lester, only to literally leave them hanging. Get the gang back together. You in, Ceno? So what do you say, Friday night, a little white zin, a little magic the gathering? If you have the mana to battle the other planeswalkers. You think about it, let us know. At number five on our list, we got the classic Adult Swim series, The Venture Bros, where in the second episode of season two, during the climactic battle, we get a lesson about how magic cards can be used as weapons. What do you want me to do, read their fortunes? They are Magic the Gathering cards, not tarot cards. You can fuzz them at their heads. Oh, they catch a corner on one of those, and they're gonna know what hit them. I don't know about literally bringing a magic card to a gunfight, but who knows? Maybe you can give someone a decent paper cut at least. Next on our list, we have the greatest animated series of all time, The Simpsons, where in season 28, the family goes on a hatecation to Boston, only for Lisa to end up on a college campus surrounded by all varieties of nerds, including some magic players. They've got every recognized species of nerd. A jester-hatted ferret breeder, a wild west of ferian, a magic the gathering gathering. I knew Commander was getting popular, but I didn't realize it was Simpsons popular. Coming in at number three on our list, we got one of my personal favorites because it's not just a poster in the background or even a joke about magic. It's a real magic joke from Workaholics, where in this season three episode involving a My Chemical Romance show, we not only get to see Blake playing a game of magic, but also expressing how he sees himself through some of his favorite magic characters. Some people are lords of the pit. Others, like you and me, thralls born to be sacrificed. I'm a force of nature, man. I'm an avatar of might. Well, 
I'm gonna trample this guy. So what are you, a thrall or an avatar bite? Let us know in the comments. At number two on our list, we got Family Guy, where in the season six episode, where Meg falls in love with her doctor after almost drowning and Peter forces them into a shotgun wedding, Peter compares their love to, well, you'll see. Will you marry me? Yes, of course. Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am. We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! There could be only one choice for number one on our list. Every franchise we've talked about so far has featured magic in some small way, but South Park dedicated an entire episode to magic. In the cock magic episode of South Park, not only do we get to see some shockingly accurate representations of magic play. I am attacking, but with a newly summoned spark gas who has trample, four damage to your planeswalker. Oh! Oh no, Kenny! Shh, but he's dying! But we also got to see magic played by literal cocks, roosters. And he plays a fugitive wizard! Whoa. More mana from scrambles, and yes, that is crippling blight! Crippling blight to the fugitive wizard! Creature now has minus one to strength and defense! And we got to see some hilarious misunderstandings about what cock magic actually means. Cock magic is making a comeback. Oh, no, 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 Sharon, I don't know why or how, but people all over town are talking about it again. Ah, hey, yeah. kids, are we having fun? Oh, where'd my hat go? Anyone see my hat? Anyway, those have been our top 10 times that magic has shown up in pop culture. So which of these clips was your favorite? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Do we miss any times that magic has shown up on TV and in the movies? Let us know that too. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.